So a few videos back, I told you guys about a new thing I picked up for the bread truck. It's a yacht lamp made by Weems and Plath. This is it right here. I got it off of eBay, it's used, and I really love it. I think it's super awesome. I made a video about unboxing this from eBay and um, just going through it, you know, briefly, and I fired off an email to Weems and Plath, who's the maker of this lamp, and they were really excited about the video. They loved it, and they offered to send me out a gimbal for it, which I can mount it on the wall, and some fuel and some wicks for it. And I just so happen to have that package right here, and I'm gonna open it up for you guys so we can see what is inside. I'm really excited about it because I don't know what's inside. I mean, I know, but I haven't seen it. I've been wanting to rip into this box, so. We have here Weems and Plath wicks for the lamp. There's three wicks in there. These will last me forever. They don't go through wicks very quickly. Then I have what I needed from the last video to light it up is uh, lamp fuel. This is the Weems and Plath lamp fuel. They say it's one of the highest quality lamp fuels that's on the market. It's super clean burning, and I won't have problems with smell or anything like that with this product. I'm gonna open it up here. Ooh, the lid. Looks like it's spilled a little. It was kind of, yeah, well, the lid's kind of off of it a little bit, but there it is, the Weems and Plath. I think maybe a little fuel did get out because this uh, label is peeling. But um, that's gonna go in the uh, lamp. Let me set that down. And then this is the thing I'm most excited about here. This is the gimbal that allows you to mount this in a boat and it keeps the lamp completely flat. It's so cool. I don't know if this is the right one. Maybe it is. That's it. How awesome is that? It's got this three axis uh, gimbal. Is that three? Two axis. It's a two axis gimbal and it allows the lamp to stay in place no matter uh, what your boat or truck is doing. I propose to put it around here somewhere. So I'm going to have to get a couple little things. I'm going to need to get a screwdriver, take this apart so that I can mount the lamp in this gimbal and put it on the wall. And I'm going to do all that for you guys right here on camera so you can see exactly how it's all put together. Bubble wrap, I love it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to install the lamp into the gimbal. And then I'm going to put it up on the wall. So right now I'm just loosening the... Yeah, that's a good way to do it right there. I'm loosening the inner ring. This is the part that is going to go around the lamp and actually attach. I have this little pocket knife for a screwdriver right now, so. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit loose. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this bottom. I don't know exactly how this goes on. I've never done one of these before. Let's see how, if it goes on. Oh, I'm going to have to take this completely off, I think. So, this may take me a moment. To get my screwdriver, like my power drill. This would be easier if it didn't have this whistle attached. There we go, I can unscrew it by hand. At this point, almost there. There we go. Now the ring is separated on one side. I may have to take this other side apart as well for extra clearance. Okay, there we go. Now the whole thing comes off. 
I can put it around the lamp in its proper place. Yes, there we go. And put the screw back through where I had previ previously taken it off. Awesome! I love it. That's so cool. Okay, now I just gotta tighten these up a little bit more. Very exciting for you guys at home. Okay, that one's almost there. This side has to go a little further. It's a really great screwing technique. Thank you. I bet there's a lot of people that have always wondered how the bread trucker screws. <laughs> You think? Yeah. It's on everybody's mind. Now they know. So I'm going to just, I want to even these sides up because I want the same amount of gap on both sides. Tighten this one up. I'm taking a little extra time on this because I just want it to fit in there just right because this is going to be on the wall in the bread truck for a good long time. You know, I just thought of something. Oh, okay. This is how that happens. Ow. Ow. It seems that this is what you like you could take loose to pull the lamp out, but on there pretty tight. I think we're in good shape on that. Now I gotta figure out how to get this off without busting my fingers open. <clears throat> Man, I just don't know. I need to grip it with like a pair of pliers or something. that goes in there and then this one comes in, out and I can screw it in there but I gotta figure out how to screw it in well I guess we have to take a little break oh maybe maybe that's right here hold on hold on I might have something here because I only have to get it barely loose got this little set screw loose I can take that out put this in there like this okay so this is now what we're working with this is how it's gonna go on the wall and as you can see, no matter which way I turn it, you can imagine if this was a boat in the ocean, it would stay totally straight. No, you know, if it's rocking front to back or side to side, um, it's not going to get that much movement in the bread truck. But I thought it was a super cool uh, way to mount it. So I'm going to actually take this and put it up on the wall right now, so that it's in its permanent place.
Where do you think it should go, Ellie? I don't know. Wherever. Wherever you want. And this will be very easily moved, so if you want to make it, we can move it up a little bit. So it goes in with three screws, which I have here already. I'm, I was thinking like right here, dead center of the table. What do you think of that placement? Yeah. Drop the screw. match too. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. What do you think of that placement? Should we try it out? See what you think? I'm going to put the other two screws in the holes. Seems like this might be a little... Pretty good. There we go. It wasn't exactly straight with the thing. I'm gonna pop this guy back in here. There we go. That's a done deal. Huh? <laughs> what do you so think of that? Once it's lit. I know. We're gonna really have to wait till nighttime to really get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. But I'm gonna put some of this stuff away, and I'm gonna get it lit for you guys right now, and put some fuel in this new yacht lamp of ours. It's so rad. Okay, that's in there, nice and tight. So. All right, so to add fuel and light one of these lamps, you have to remove this bottom fuel tank section. You just unscrew it, and the whole assembly comes right out as one piece. So I'm gonna sit down here, and I'll show you how this gets removed. There's another ring right here at the top. You just loosen this ring take that off you can set that aside and then this whole wick assembly comes right out of there that's the whole wick assembly I'm just gonna set that aside okay so to fill it all you got to do is pour this fuel right in there Okay, now it's full. You drop your wick assembly back in there. And replace your ring.
And now, it's much heavier now. <laughs> uh, now you're ready to light it. Let's see, there we go. I'm just gonna lower the wick down so it's nice and low. Grab a lighter. All right, fingers crossed. Okay, there we go. It's already pulling the lamp fuel up from the bottom. And uh, that's it right there. It's all lit, ready to go. All I have to do now is just screw it back into the lamp. Screw it in so it's nice and tight, and there it is. It's all set, ready to go. How awesome is that? I'm gonna lower the wick down just a little bit more, just cause I'm gonna make it like a nice small flame. Look at that. And jiggle it. Oh my goodness, I love it. Maggie, so look great. what we got. It's gonna be hard to see from, uh, fun. isn't that cool? It's on like a gimbal yeah. for a boat. I love it. it. I think it's so rad. I love it. Oh my god, it's so cool. I kind of want to take this um, thing off. I just got to bend it just a little bit mm -hmm. and I can take off that. That's made for a hook, which might be nice to be able to take this and put it somewhere else and I could put it on a hook. But um, that's about it. I. Um, I'm super stoked about this. This is already warming up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it puts off a little bit of heat and this helps keep your rig dry. So in cold climates, I think this will help us to remove some moisture from the air inside the van, especially since we just had an issue with mold in the bottom of the mattress. So, you know, anything we can do to remove a little bit more uh, humidity out of the air, I think might be good. So, Oh, I'm so in love with this. You have no idea. <laughs> I love it. I think it is so cool. It's in really good shape too, and it works great. The gimbal looks amazing with it. And uh, it's still just a little touch off there. Yeah, I think that's better. But um, yeah, what do you think? It's really cool. It's Thanks, really nice, right? Yeah. So, um, Thank you to Weems and Plath for taking my email seriously and checking out the video. I'm glad that you guys liked it and I'm super, super excited to work with you guys and receive this gimbal with the lamp fuel and wicks from you guys. It's so helpful. It will be the centerpiece of the bread truck for quite a while. I mean, until I get a wood burning stove, this is it. <laughs> but um, I love it. I think it's an awesome addition to the bread truck and I am gonna enjoy the hell out of it. So, thanks Weems and Plath. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. And I will check you out in the next video down the road. Bye guys. So it's nighttime. And we wanna see what the lamp mounted looks like. It's already filled with fluid, so I'm just gonna light it up. Jump the gun. Make it a little bit bigger. Sweet. Oop. I saw some juice squirt out. That's what she said. And then you just screw this sucker back in there. Oh, well, it looks there like a good blue light. Looks awesome. We should turn off the light here and see what it looks like just by itself. Woo! That just took a hundred years off. Swanky. It's like we're in, uh, you know, Fisher, on, like on 1900s again. On film, it just looks like a little dot of light, but in reality, <laughs> we can all see each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this doesn't work too well in uh, no, but GoPro conditions. Really cool. Yeah. I love it. Super sweet. Thank you to that people that. Thanks, sent Weems, you that. thanks Weems and Plath. <laughs> thanks, Weems and Plath. You guys rock. Ding. <laughs>